Hello friends and welcome back to Irini's Corner. Today we are crocheting together this Gnome Mosaic phone pouch and this pouch has uh, the Gnome uh, featured on both sides. So here is one side and here is the other side. And uh, we're gonna be working this mosaic pattern based on the pattern I have on Ravelry. So um, on Ravelry, you can get the chart for this um, pattern together with the written instructions. And you will also get the instructions for how to repeat the pattern with a different layout. So the gnomes are not just sitting side by side, but they will be alternating in position. Okay, let's get started. Now for the uh, material that we are going to use today, I'm gonna use 100% cotton yarn. This is uh, Patton's Grace. Uh, this is a weight three yarn and the hook size recommended for this yarn is a 3.75 millimeter hook. I'm gonna use a three millimeter hook because I like my work to be kind of stiff a little bit. So I'm gonna go with a three millimeter hook with a weight three yarn. Um, if you wanna use uh, acrylic yarn, you can definitely use that. With acrylic yarn, the only drawback is that it stretches. So if we are using it in bags and purses, it will stretch uh, with the weight that we put into our bag or our purse. So to avoid stretching with acrylic yarn, just line your finished project with fabric lining so that the fabric lining is what holds the weight that you're going to put into uh, your purse or bag and not the crochet yarn that is um, holding the weight. All right, so let's get started. The, uh, the white uh, or the off-white color is going to be in the background color and I'm gonna use uh, this light green color as my main color so the the gnome is gonna be in green and the background is gonna be the off-white color so let's get started with it so for today's pattern we need to start with a foundation chain that is a multiple of 22 so if you want a repeat up one repeat of your pattern so if we can look at this one for example this was my test uh, project to make sure that the pattern is uh, written correctly so if i want just one unit being repeated so one gnome then i need 22 foundation chains if i want to repeat it side by side then i'm gonna be needing uh, a multiple of 22. Now, because uh, we're doing a bag and we're having the pattern repeated uh, once on each side, then I'm just gonna start with 22 single crochet, uh, sorry, 22 chains, and then I'm gonna work uh, in both sides of the chain to work the base. So instead of 22, I'll have 44. And as we work, we're gonna see that we're gonna have a couple of extra stitches. I'm gonna explain that as we go. Uh, just to make the sides for our bag and to have that flat uh, base for it. Okay, so let's get started with our slip knot. So here is our slip knot and I'm working with color A and then I'm gonna chain 22 stitches. So after doing the 22 uh, chains, I'm gonna chain one more. This is my turning chain. So if you're working with more than 22, like a multiple of 22, so let's say 44 or 66 uh, and so on. So you chain the multiple of 22 and then you add one more chain as a turning chain. Now we're going to skip that turning chain and start working into the next stitch. And I'm going to work a single crochet into that stitch. So this is one. And then I'm going to go back into that same stitch, the first stitch, and work another stitch. Okay, so we're going to start with an increase. And then for the next 
20 stitches I'm gonna be working a single crochet into each Okay, so I started with two single crochet into the first stitch and then I work 20 single crochet and then I have one stitch remaining in that stitch I'm gonna work three single crochet this way uh, I'm gonna be turning to the other side of the chain to work into uh, the other side uh, to do my base so here is one I'm gonna work under the tail to hide it as I work. So here's two and three. All right. And again, I'm gonna work 20 single crochet on the other side of my chain. Okay, so here I finished my 20 single crochet stitches and then in the last stitch, this is the first stitch that we worked into for this round and we worked two single crochet into that stitch. So I'm going to work one more single crochet into it and that brings us to a total of three single crochet stitches which matches that side of uh, the base. So we're going to have three single crochet in one side and three single crochet on the other side. All right. Now I'm going to do an invisible join to close that round. So I'm going to pull this loop right here and then into that first stitch of the round, I'm going to insert my hook from the back to the front this way and then pull that loop backwards. This is called Sorry, so here it is. Just tighten this loop and pull it backwards. This is called the invisible join. Okay, now I'm ready to start round number two. And as we know with the, with the mosaic crochet, we switch colors each row or each round, depending on what we're working on. So if you're working in rows, not in rounds, then that's where you cut your uh, color A and start joining color B um, and start working with uh, color B. Now that because I'm working in the round so I'm not going to cut my yarn all I have to do is just chain one with color B. Okay and then I'm going to pull on color A so it holds color B in place and now we're going to start working without any increases so it was just um, round one that we did the increases for and as you can um, like as you have noticed we did increases so now we don't have 22 stitches on each side we actually have uh, 22 multiplied by 2 that is 44 and we have two more stitches so we have 46 stitches to work uh, our pattern all right now I'm gonna start working in the back loop only and for round two we're just working um, single crochet in the back loop. We're still building up the base of our mosaic pattern. So I'm gonna go into the back loop. Let me show you where the back loop is. Uh, so if we look at any stitch right here it has a V on the top of it. The loop that is close to us this is called the front loop and the loop that is away from us is the back loop. So we're gonna work under the back loop only. So this is how we're gonna insert our hook. All right, so we're gonna go into that first stitch right here and work a single crochet in the back loop. And again, I'm working 
around the tail to hide it as I go. As I reach the end of the round, I'm going to do again the invisible join. And then once I'm done with round two, I'm going to switch back to round, uh, color uh, A and I'm going to just chain one with color A. All right. Now we are ready to start round number three. And again, we're still uh, building a base for our pattern. So we're going to do a round of single crochet in the back loop only. And again, at the end of the round, I'm going to be joining with an invisible join. And then switch to color B. And now we are ready to start round number four. For round four, we're going to start with one single crochet in the back loop. And then uh, from now on, if I say single crochet, I'm always referring to single crochet in the back loop. And if I say double crochet, then I refer to a double crochet in the front loop, two rows below. And we're going to see how we're going to do that. So for the first stitch, we're doing a single crochet in the back loop. And then for the next four stitches, we're doing a double crochet in the front loop, two rows below. So what does that mean? It means that we're going to go two rows below. So here is row one and row two. And row two is the same color of yarn that we are currently using. So if I'm working with color B, then I'm going to be working in a row with color B. If I'm working with color A, then I'll be working double crochet in a row with color A. So now that I have color B on my hook, then I'm going to be working in the row, two rows below that is made uh, of color B. And um, for the next stitch, I'm not going to work into that stitch. I'm going to trace it down to the stitch below it. And now that we have the front loops available for the stitches, we're going to be doing double crochet into these loops. All right, so let's start. So yarn over and then we're going to trace the next stitch to the stitch below it. Insert your hook from the bottom up, yarn over and pull a loop. So we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. So here is my first double crochet in the front loop. And we're going to repeat that for the next three stitches and we're going to skip the stitch on uh, the row below. So we're going to skip that stitch again for the next stitch, trace it to the row below it, insert your hook from the bottom up, yarn over, pull the loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. Okay, now after finishing the fourth double crochet in the front loop, we're going to go back to single crochet in the back loop and we're going to do 12 of single crochet. Okay, next we're going to do six double crochet in the front loop.
Okay, so after finishing the six double crochet stitches, we're going to repeat what we did from the beginning up to this point. So we started with one single crochet in the back loop, followed by four double crochet in the front loop of two rows below, then 12 single crochet in the back loop, and then six double crochet in the front loop two rows below. So we're going to repeat these stitches one more time on the other side until we reach the end of the round and do an invisible joining. Okay, now that we are done with uh, round four, we are ready to start round five. So we're switching to color A. And then for the first stitch, I'm doing a single crochet in the back loop. And then I'm gonna work four more single crochet in the back loop. And then we're gonna do two front post doubles. So now that I'm working with color A, I wanna make sure that my double crochet goes into a row made up of color A. And then I'm gonna work eight single crochet. And then I'm gonna work two double crochet. followed by six single crochet. Okay, and this is the repeat for round five. So we started with one single, uh, actually we started with a total of five single crochet in the back loop and then two double crochet and then eight single crochet, two double crochet, and we finished with six single crochet. So we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, so now we are starting round number six and we're gonna start with one single crochet. And then we're gonna do four double crochet. Then we're going to do two single crochet. And then we're going to do eight double crochet. And then we're going to do two single crochet. And then we're going to do six double crochet. So this round we started, or this part of the round, we started with one single crochet, four double, two single, eight double, two single, and then six double. And we're going to repeat that for the other side of uh, our project. All right, let's start row number seven together. So I'm going to start with five single crochet.
and then we're gonna do one double and then we're gonna work 10 single crochet And then we're gonna do one double. Followed by six single. So the repeat for this round, we're going to start with five single, one double, ten single, one double, and then six single. Okay, so continue working another repeat for the other side and we're going to continue from there. For row number eight, we're going to start with one single crochet. And then we're going to work two double crochet. And then we're going to work three single. And then we're going to do ten double. And then we're working three single. And then we are finishing the repeat with four double. Okay, so we started with one single, two double, and then three single, ten double, three single, and then four double. And we're gonna repeat that for the other side. For row nine, we're gonna start with three single crochet. followed by one double and then we're gonna do single crochet for the next 14 stitches okay after finishing the 14 single crochet we're gonna do one double And then we're going to finish the repeat with four singles. So we started with three single, one double, 14 single, one double, and we finished with four single. And we're going to repeat that from the beginning for the other side. For round 10, we're going to start with one single crochet. And then one double. And then we're going to do three single crochet. And then we're going to do four double. And 
and then we're gonna do four single and then four double And then we're going to do three single. And then we're going to finish the repeat with three double. So let's look at repeat of row 10. We start with one single, one double, three single, four double, four single, four double, three single, and then three double. Okay, let's start row 11, and we're going to start with three single. And then two double. Next, we're going to do four single. And then we're going to do four double. And then four single. Two double and then we're gonna finish the repeat with four single okay let's look at the pattern for row 11 we're going to start with three single, two double, four single, four double, four single, two double, and then four single. Okay, row number 12. And we're going to start with one single. And then two double. And then we're going to work five single. And then we're going to do one double. Followed by four single. Then one double, and then five single, and finish the repeat with four double. So we started with one single, two double, and then five single, one double, four single, one double, five single, and then four double. Okay, so repeat it one more time, and then we are going to start draw around number 13. Round number 13, we're going to start with four single. And then we're going to work four double. And 
and then we're working six single followed by four double And then we are finishing with five single. So the repeat for this round is four single, four double, six single, four double, and then five single. row 14 we are starting with one single followed by three double and then we're going to work 14 single crochet And then we're doing five double. Okay, so for round 14, start with one single, three double, 14 single, and then five double and repeat it for the other side round number 15 we're gonna start with four single and then we're gonna work 13 double And then we're going to finish with six single. So for row number 15 or round number 15, we're going to start with four single, 13 double, and followed by six single. And we're going to repeat it for the other side. So we're going to stop here for part one of the tutorial and we're going to resume in part two, starting round 16.